The following is a presentation of TBS Sports. And hello everyone, Ken Squire welcoming you to sold out Richmond International Raceway for the 32nd running of the Pontiac 400. You know, for the last nine straight years, Chevrolet has taken the Winston Cup Manufacturers Championship. And back in 76, GM started winning the thing. One way or another, they've taken it ever since. Ford, for 92, has launched a massive effort to take that manufacturer's crown. But after you've run the two and a half miles at Daytona, after you've run the mile super speedway in Rockingham, you get down to the tracks where it really gets decided, the championship that is. The short tracks, the guts and glory of stock car racing, and Richmond, Virginia is one of its very best examples. Ken, I tell you what, when this race starts, someone to really watch for is the two car of, of Rusty Wallace. Rusty in practice yesterday was a lot quicker than anyone here. If anybody's due a good day of racing, it's them. They've been off the pace and they've got the car working very well. Pace car bringing the field out of three and four, noses down on a pit road. And here we go, 32nd annual Pontiac 400 from the Richmond International Raceway is underway. Welcome to Richmond. Richmond, yeah, is a short track, obviously. And this is where we're gonna see what all the driver's aggressive ratings, what they're up to 100, what that means for us. Look out. Um, no damage. Um, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what it means. Uh, a couple things have changed, uh, have a different sound pack. It's uh, political or pilotical. I don't know how they want their name pronounced, username pronounced. Uh, they've released a Petty version 3 sound pack. And once we get into, once we're not drowned out by all the other engines on the track, You'll be able to hear my favorite part of the pack is the the squealing of the tires and the turns or lack thereof. Still there. Something else that has changed is when I was at Rockingham talking about Rockingham and we were racing Rockingham I mentioned a couple times how long that race was so we're going to be running 40% races the rest of the way uh, there may be some races we do 50 maybe the Coca-Cola maybe restrictor plates maybe something where the fuel, where the pit window is a little bit weird But I still think we're going to get awesome videos and racing and um, good outcomes and results from 40% races. I'm not, you know, I was married to the 50% length all through 97 and then going into this season because I don't know, it just felt nice. And I've done 50% races in the past, but not with YouTube, not with editing and not with all that. And... You know, I think a good compromise is 40%. Um, we might actually run upward, uh, above 50% on the road courses. I don't know. But we'll see. All right, I think we started 21st. didn't even see who had the pole this race, but I did see 
Jeff Gordon once again. I got I, I was talking about him at Rockingham, how I wanted to bring his ratings down, and I didn't before this race. We're three wide. We gotta be careful. I need to get off the wall is what I need to do. Can't get into a rhythm here at all when you're racing side by side. Clear. And I'm not taking turn one good. I'm not taking turn one well at all. And we eventually will. But it's not happening right now. Case in point, Jimmy Means is getting around us. So we're not doing well. I'll throw up the points sometime. Uh, Jim Sauter. <laughs> Just how how the standings have shaken out the first two races where people at the front of the pack at Daytona finish at the back at Rockingham and vice versa. Jim Sauter, after two races, still has the Winston Cup points lead. Not going to be for long, but it's just funny. Our adjusted, our, I guess I should say modified, our modified fuel window here is about 75 laps ish. And hopefully we don't have a repeat of what happened at Rockingham where we pitted when no one else had to. Or, you know, not everyone did. But like I said, that, like I said when it happened, I'd rather, you know, play ball than get a cheap win. And we, we I think we would have gotten a win. I think everyone had pitted in front of us. Does not want to dig in. I, I, it just does not want to dig into one right now. I got to figure that out. That should not be happening right there with Dave Marcus. Oh, he was giving me room. That's why he got up into this Greg Sachs, but we're not doing too well right now. the sweet spot that I'd want to go to commercial but we're trying we're working here we'll find some time for a commercial break plus we can with 40% races we can afford to show a little bit more action you know what I should have done was run practice laps before Richmond <laughs> I ran my qualifying finished about we were, ran about mid-pack or qualified mid-pack and I said we're good to go let's go once I get one and two figured out kind of like that we'll be in good shape There's Ernie Irvin. Holy cow, I want to say he started way up at the front. Car outside. Keep low. And I guess he had some issues. Clear. 
Mark Martin in the lead here. Clear. Turn, baby. Come on. Happy's, Happy's learning how to putt into one and two now. I haven't been able to do it on the inside yet. That's pretty much where we started, behind Daryl Waltrip. Inside. Dang it. Inside. Tell you what, I just don't trust when a car is right on us going into one. I just don't trust being able to hold that line like I've been doing. The, the only times we've been able to take one and two to my liking is when we didn't have someone breathing on us and we got to get over that because we're at a short track there are cars cars are going to be on us all race so got to get over it and we're we're fighting ourselves and having existential crisis crises and we're in the middle of the pack right now. Wait till we get to the front if we can get to the front. That's going to be even more of a dog fight. Clear. Outside. Clear. Outside. Definitely should have practiced. Superman City. You put it together, fold it up, take it away. Vehicle packs sold separately. Shamu looking down. Those big eyes. There it is over Richmond, Virginia. All right, back in the action. Terry Boni is giving me the red ass right now. He's starting to make a push. Yeah, so we got to start moving. We have about 30 laps until pit stops. The sound pack came with new uh, pit stop sounds like the... Car outside. The pneumatic wrenches and whatnot on the pit stops. That was the one time we needed a good turn three and four, and I got up on down onto the apron like a dumb person. Look out. Man, where did he get that run? I thought he was going to be slow coming off of two. Guess not. All right, I'm sweating a little bit. Come on, get me down in here. Stick it. There we go. Oh, we got Smoker. Ricky Rudd. Still there. 
That's a yellow flag. Here we go. So something happened with Ricky Rudd. And that's really unfortunate because I felt like once we were able to get into a single line, I was able to get a, I was able to run the track better because we weren't racing. But whatever. We're pitting here. Everybody is. Who's in front and behind me? I can't remember. Speed limit's 40. No damage. And we're about halfway down pit road here. Look at that sign. Alright, nobody jumped in front of us, which is good. The pace cars in turn one. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of There's the road. new the pace cars in turn two. <sighs> There's the new pit road sounds. The pace cars on the back straight. Hutch Strickland's behind us. Okay. Go, go, go! Keep it under forty. Keep it under four thousand in seconds. Well, we had a good stop. Look at this. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I think we got past him. Yeah, we got past Gordon. I guess... I think the AI just had some short track pit road woes. And we were able to gain some spots. Let's make sure it, not, let's make sure it doesn't go all, all go down the toilet on the restart. All right, we're going green. We just passed the start finish. We have a whole lap to go. Here's what the uh, top 10 looks like. Dave Marcus. He was running well somewhere else too. Or maybe it was a practice race I did somewhere. So that's something to look into, I think. Usual names up here. Ernie Irvin dropped back to 22nd. And we lost Richard Petty somewhere. And Ricky Rudd. I'm not sure if that was an accident or Richard Petty hit Ricky Rudd after we passed him. Not sure. I most likely showed it. I haven't seen it yet. I didn't even bother looking at the replay during the caution. Because I just figured that was Ricky Rudd blowing an engine or something and put something down on the track and they brought the yellow out and then once I saw Richard Petty was involved there I should have went and saw the replay with you but I'll have shown it all right 50 what 55 we'll say 75 laps on a pit window we'd pit again lap 130 with 40 to go we do have a random caution in here somewhere oh boy this is this is just bad like Alan Kowicki was not gonna let me breathe in the turn I had to go I just we we're either gonna get spun out or we we're just gonna lose that spot But at the same time, Kowicki might be our ticket to the front. I, I just, I can't. I don't have turn one. Turn one's what's going to kill us this race. I just don't have that figured out. I got it pretty well coming from the top of the track. But it's just, it's such a weird turn. You know? Give me another 50 laps, I'll have it figured out. Oh, boy. Very frustrating. Probably frustrating to watch as well.
That's about it right there. three and four I just, just <laughs> short tracks are about getting into a rhythm and we don't have it I mean and we're complaining we're top ten it's not like we're at the back of the pack and everything's going wrong and we're down a cylinder and blah, blah, blah. like we're in the top ten right here we just have to figure out how to get into the top nine the top eight Still there. come on Clear. please turn Still there. Stay Clear. Ah, okay had to let up so we didn't hit the wall like dumb people We're going to hit the wall eventually. Sterling. Starting to feel feel good here. You know, we were able to run single file right off of this restart, and I think that's what the difference is. Uh, you know, on that initial start of the race, you're two by two. You, whatever line you're in, that's the line you get used to running. And then you forget when you're single file, you can run a fast line around the track. There's a squealing, if you can hear that. I may have put up a running order around this time. So I, that squeal might have been in the smaller picture in the corner. Or I was done with the running order by now, I don't know. But in the old sound pack that I've been running for a while, the version 2.0, the petty version 2.0 the skid you can hear a lot of skidding in the turns and yeah they gave you feedback like okay you're losing some of your tires but now the threshold has gotten bigger or however you want to however that phrase would work where <laughs> uh, you can hear you don't hear just like a just an ear piercing squeal every time every time you know you lose some traction it's just a little bit of a yeah it's just a little bit of a i can't even think of the word like a squeak but it, it only starts squealing whenever you're losing more and more traction i'm a big fan of that i wish i could wish i could explain that better but i can't because i'm trying to pass sterling marlin here We got him. We'll be at Richmond later this season. So, we'll take what we learn for that race. 
Halfway home, baby. And we've kind of just fallen in line. I'm not sure how many laps I skipped there. But we passed whoever we passed. Sterling Marlin, I think, or I don't know. But that's where we're at. They mark it? I don't know. We passed somebody. Skipped a sizable portion there. I know I said, hey, with the 40% races, we're not going to skip as much. But there's nothing going on. I mean, we're just falling in line. Richmond's a unique track that, you know, it's a short track, but also once you fall in line, you fall in line. And I have the difficulty dialed in here pretty well where we're not really gaining on them. I like it. Unfortunately, we're the only ones that know another caution should be coming out, a random caution. So that changes our mentality a little bit. We lost Bobby Hamilton some, or he's only a lap down. We didn't lose him. I don't know what happened to him, though. Behind us, we have Darrell Waltrip. And he's probably going to be coming hot. Because I haven't seen him for a while, and that pack fell off of us back there. Sterling Marlin and whatnot. And then once that pack gets a new leader, he might be on the charge. Halfway through this fuel run. Let's just hope we don't get another Rockingham kind of situation, which we won't because we have 66 laps left. Fuel window 75. So we're all good to go. Might be a case that we do a longer or shorter pit stop than them, but we all still we all have to stop again. Looks like Kyle Petty slowed up Harry Gant here. Let's go for this pass. Keep low. Still there. Stay low. Not the most eloquent pass in the history of NASCAR there, but we're going to get it done. Hopefully. Well, sorry, you guys are aggressive. I'm going to slam the brakes on you, and you're going to have to... Relax. All right, here we go. Tracking down Kyle Petty for seventh. Darrell Waltrip is coming, though. Gotta give them room. I mean, this is... You know, I screw up a turn and you just, you gotta give them, you gotta give it to them. Not the best series of events there. Dale Jarrett go. We're not, I'm not getting wrecked. We're sitting, we're, we're near top 10 here. There's nobody 
close to us, behind us now. And I'd rather fight Dale Jarrett on my terms than the other way around, fighting him off. There we go. Heck, we're just gonna let. We're gonna get on this Daryl Waltrip train. I mean, if he's on the charge, we're gonna be with him. Pretty wild how, you know, this sound pack, as I was talking about, I'm just used to it already. Took, you know, 100 laps, a half hour, 40 minutes, whatever that is, whatever that took, and it just blends into the background. He, he added nice little touches. Uh, some things that we don't hear, like the track ambiance stuff before the race. You can hear a PA, a PA announcer saying gobbledy, gobbledy gook. Gobbledy gook. So, little things like that. It's pretty cool. Nope. I thought... DW was going to push that under Kyle Petty, and he didn't. About 20 laps from pit stops here. Martin is still leading. Kowicki, didn't we have to get out of his way somewhere? And he was charging to the front. Big move by. C17 here, as I call them. When I'm making notes for the race, if. Look out. If I'm making notes for the race, I'll, if I want to put, I don't know, if I want to put a live cam graphic or something up, I just put C17 graphic or something. Almost wrecked Cal Petty. We are on the Daryl Waltrip train here. I like this. He was really on that charge that we saw. Taking a little bit of a better line through one and two now. I just don't want to wreck, you know. Tell you what, Daryl Waltrip is slowing up. Car inside. And we're gonna let Kyle Petty deal with that. <laughs> right rear. I was wondering why I started losing grip. And my right rear is yellow.
That's good. We're supposed to... You see my fastest lap of the race, 22-1. And near the end of the run here, we're running about a second off. And that's what I had in my notes that I wanted. Cope up there ahead of Daryl Waltrip has to be a lap down. That can't be for position. Right. And there's a, some other lappers here, too. Unfortunately, with the lappers will come a bottleneck at the front of the field on any restarts. Unless there's less than 10 laps to go. Pretty uh, uneventful race here so far. Had some frustrations early. But that's been it. All right, Atlanta next. Really excited about that 1980s era track I downloaded. Did a practice fuel run did 20 or so laps running with the AI and it's just it, it's I'm really excited about it not sure about the upload schedule as far as all these videos aiming for three a week Monday Wednesday Friday but we'll see how it goes Appreciate everyone giving good feedback and compliments and everything, new subscribers. I'm not doing this to build a YouTube empire or something, just the people watching this video. <laughs> this, this video isn't going to show up in people's random suggestions, you know. This is a very specific target audience for this stuff. Here we go. Random caution. So anybody that's watching this, maybe you just have it on in the background while you're cooking dinner or something. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, we had some cars on pit road during that. Lap 130 was it. Or no, what did we pit? Lap 55? Yeah, if it was lap 50-ish... We'd be close to it now, too. That'd be 73 laps. I don't know. The field's going to be messed up. And I wonder if any leaders were on pit road when the caution came out. Pit road is now open. I think I finished my thoughts about the, you know, this being a niche, niche, however you want to say it, you know, viewer audience. Limit 40. Keep it under 4, in I'm not going to be yelling at you to slam the subscribe button and everything. In turn one. Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the Don't hit us. Road. That was close. Pace cars in turn two. Let's see if we get another caution pit road bump here. Standings wise. Be nice. Get us on get us out under fifteen. Go, go, go. Nope. Limit forty. Keep it under four thousand in seconds. Watch fourteen seconds now. is four thousand in a thing. I mean we can get out in, in fourteen seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I am going to be furious. If... Look at the cars up front. Dale Jarrett, Dick Trickle, Jeff Gordon, Ken Schrader, Lake Speed, and Jimmy Hensley. Those were six cars that had pitted... Uh, before the caution came out. We can take a look at Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett was on pit road the lap before everyone else did. But if you remember at Michigan last year, th those guys, forget Michigan for a second. These guys in this race, starting with Trickle and then Gordon Schrader, those guys entered pit road, crossed the commitment line after the caution came out. And they still went down and pitted. And if you remember in 1997, we had arguably, you know, our whole season destroyed by 
we entered pit road like a half a beat after the caution came out and we we didn't know exactly what the deal was so we pitted and the spotter was like or crew chief whatever was like you idiot we had to go to the back of the longest line and if jeff gordon and them don't have to i'm gonna be mad we did just cross the start finish line so they are gonna be at the tail end of the lead lap rather than the end of the longest line I guess that's worse for them. And we're sitting in seventh. So what'd we gain? A couple of spots there. We're going green next time by. Okay, we're on the lead lap. Stay on the outside line. Stay behind the eleven car. No Rex. Not too much going on. Jim Sauter. Clock striking midnight on him. He's a lap down here. He's not gonna keep the uh First place in the Winston Cup standings. Not a, uh, like I said, not a lot of wrecks here. These cars are going to be up to speed. We're looking good, but this could be deadly. We had a good, we had a restart at Rockingham that ruined everything. We restarted top ten. We ran three wide. We just have to be better. You know, there's no. There's no aw shucks. We'll let them go and fight them another day. We only have 35 laps left here. I don't know why we're getting such a good jump here. Why isn't this turning? Come on. Dang it. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're damaged. Unbelievable. What was that? 20 seconds after I said, hey, let's be better. I just didn't want to turn going into one. It was unex inexplicable. It's the game's fault, not my fault. Who knows, maybe the car will just turn better with damage. One can only hope. That might be our only hope. Oh, and also, I think you probably noticed in the points, or I'm mentioning it now, Hang on, I had to go three wide there for a second because Mike Potter was impatient. Uh, Jeff Gordon was above us in points coming into this race. Infuriating after the 97 season, and especially when I thought he was, he was not going to be a world beater in the 92 ratings. And I thought I had changed his ratings to the point where he wouldn't be able to do it. But I don't know. All right. We've quote unquote survived this restart, I feel. Big black hood in my rear view. Three wide here. In front of us. I got nowhere to go, Hutch Strickland. Dale Earnhardt. Annoying. Something's going to give here, and hopefully it's not us. Starts getting my blood pressure up, but this is why this game is what it is. I mean, Clear. 
That's why I spend hours on it. Oh, come on, Dale Earnhardt. No. He's going to get us. Don't let him throw away our race here. Stick, stick down to the bottom. Maybe scrub the apron. That's fine. Because we, we just can't let him. We have to run their true AI line down there. Because if we don't, they get under us. And that's ball game. That's what happens at all the short tracks. But with the new aggressive ratings and everything, it's much more pronounced. And it's much it's a much more common situation. Well if you're a lap down, that means I'm gonna pass you. So I don't have to worry about you. And you can mess with Dale Earnhardt back there. Alright, so I'm glad the game didn't screw us over at Michigan last year. And unfortunately, these cars. Well, actually, no. They they cheated. They were they entered pit road. They were committed to pit road after the caution came out. They hadn't crossed the line yet. Can't do that. And at Michigan, that we were just close. It's definitely the same rule involved. So I'm a little bit less mad about Michigan. That was just a coincidence of really bad timing. Alright, we got the four big guns here. Schrader's... Schrader's in the mix. Or is that Jim Sauter? Of course it's Jim Sauter. But you have Davey Allison, Cal Petty here, Bill Elliott, and Alan Kowicki all right in front of us. Ken Schrader breaks out, tries to get below Jim Sauter, and he will because it's Jim Sauter. But we're going to use Davey Allison to try to get around Cal Petty. I think we passed Cal Petty 18 times this race. This isn't Daytona. This isn't Daytona there, Jim. Uh, I didn't even have time I didn't even have time to up arrow to see who's actually leading this thing right now. Probably Mark Martin. Yeah. You know, you know who's somebody I feel we haven't even seen on the track yet? We saw him in a replay at Daytona. Rusty Wallace in his uh, black and gold car, which I love. I feel like we haven't even seen him on the track. And we probably have, and I just wasn't paying attention, but it's just something that sticks out in my head right now that we haven't seen. All right, Kyle Petty, you got to go. Or, yeah, that's Kyle Petty. <laughs> wow. Didn't need to give him that much room. This could be our race right here if we don't stick this down in here. And that Strickland gets into us. All right. All right, Earnhardt just got around Strickland, so he's coming. Car outside. Still there. Interesting situation with Ken Schrader here, because he's has a car fast enough to be up here. Still there. But he's a lap down from the pitting under caution. I don't know why that flashes sometimes. It's not every lap. I don't know if there's just a certain number of cars that are on screen at a certain time. Clear outside. 
It's just every so often the game flashes in three and four at Richmond. Well, yeah, I like the sound pack. It's just a different engine sound. It doesn't seem like it's as bassy, as throaty as our other one, but whatever. And again, we're outside the car, and those, these hood cams, roof cams, whatever, they aren't always throaty like you're in the cockpit of the car. So whatever. All right, we're in seventh. We've got a bunch of cars here for position. But I don't know. Uh, the points before this race, I think Davy Allison wasn't doing too hot. He had, a bad, he had some bad stuff at Daytona, was part of the, the pit stop gang at Rockingham. He ended up finishing in the 20s-ish. So he's not doing too well. And Daryl Walter was holding him up. Sorry, Davey. Keep low. Four to go. Five to go. Sorry. Just like in the late stages of Rockingham, we were in sight of the leaders. Why did I make this 40%? 50% we might have a chance of winning this. We'd have 20, 40 more laps. Actually, that's why. That's why I set it to 40%. 40 more laps, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> We're not gonna have. We're not gonna. We're not gonna catch them here. But there is Rusty Wallace up there. Mark Martin, I think, has led the entire race. I'd love to see. I'd love to see my time chart here. Because I've gotten faster. Which is human nature, I think. You know, I said how I didn't practice here, and then over the course of 160 laps, we've gotten faster. And that's what happens. All right. All top right, five. We're most likely going to be in the Ready Winston up, Cup buddy. points lead after this. Very good. No wrecks, no big, no DNFs, unless whatever happened with Petty and um, Ricky Rudd. Mark Martin got the win, like I said. Bob Shack gets a top 10 finish, okay. Uh, Kyle Petty, Sterling Marlin ended up hanging out up there. Harry Labonte fell off some. Well, he dollin back. He was he was dead last in the points. This is probably going to help him. Ernie Irvin ended up dropping. Dave Marcus ended up on the lead lap. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, Jarrett Trickle and Gordon, all them, 
We're at the tail end of that lead lap on that restart. And then we had a bunch of lap down cars after that. Hutch Strickland, I'm pretty sure, started the lap down. Crew. Richard Petty gets a DNF. Ricky Rudd, I think he's doing. I think he was doing okay in points. Uh, DNF isn't going to help him. All right, that's it from Richmond. Thanks for watching. Just not, you know, not an exciting race. Um, I, I hopefully I tried to spruce it up a little bit with some replays and whatnot, but it is what it is. We're gonna get. We're going to wish we were getting these races coming up when we hit up, you know, uh, Bristol and Martinsville. And uh, it's going to be a fun season. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, the next video is Atlanta. Real pumped about it.